Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Margot Reavy, who is the orchestra director for grades 6 through 12 at the Belmont Public Schools. Margot, thanks for joining us. Uh, the Belmont Public Schools uh, have been working with an organization called Music for Food. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely, thanks for having me. Music for Food, we actually have been partnering with them for the past four years. Um, this is the first year that our performance has gone virtual and on social media. And so I think that is why we're first hearing about it here. Um, but Music for Food originally started with some musicians at New England Conservatory in Boston. And it has since grown um, to an international organization of musicians. And they are basically, they are hosts for when people want to have a concert and they are doing a concert to raise awareness about hunger and food insecurity. And through their performance, they collect donations, whether that is monetary or canned goods. And so for the past four years, we have partnered in the orchestra program with Music for Food based out of Boston. And they have come in and they usually will do a presentation for our students talking about hunger and food insecurity locally and internationally. And then they also have um, usually two graduate students who are music fellows and they are trained in their different instruments and they will come into our classroom and actually rehearse sectional parts and play with our students a couple of times leading up to the concert that we're hosting with Music for Food so that our students get an opportunity to play with professional musicians, get some feedback and training from them. And then we can also interact with them and learn about the Music for Food program and pass it on to our community where our donations are going to the Belmont Food Pantry. And let's talk about the uh... Uh, the Music for Foods concert that the Belmont Public Schools uh, uh, are doing. You've ha uh, uh, taped, uh, videotaped, uh, just right. one videotape something nowadays. Uh, you've taped a, uh, a virtual concert. Yes. So with our sixth grade through 12th graders, um, I had a student teacher working with me this spring. Her name was Emma Chrisman, who just graduated. Um, and together we collaborated on a short piece by the contemporary composer, Jesse Montgomery. And her piece is called D Major Jam and it's intended for a student group of musicians and an adult group of musicians to collaborate together. So what we did was we took our middle school students learned the student part and our high school students learned the adult part. And independently, they, we practiced the, um, our high schoolers are currently now fully in person, but at the time they were hybrid and remote. And our middle schoolers, while they were learning this piece were completely remote. So once they had practiced it up enough, we asked them to make a video recording of themselves. And my student teacher, Ms. Chrisman, actually, she put all of those videos together for us. And as you said, it is raising money for the, uh, the Belmont Food Pantry. Yes, the, so the collection is going through Music for Food. They kind of can funnel the resources, but 100% of the donations that are tagged for the Belmont Orchestra concert go to our Belmont Food Pantry. Let's step away from the, the fundraiser, uh, fundraising aspects of this for a minute, uh, uh, because it's not simply a fundraiser. This really fits into the Belmont music curriculum. Uh, is that correct? Absolutely. Especially this year, I think through the pandemic, we have been thinking about how can we use our music? How can we use our participation in the world to, um, to do good? And I think um, this spring we actually have taken on as a six through 12 curriculum, uh, a unit that I devised called Music for Social Change. And within that, we have done five different projects that have had students learn about uh, music and composers, both in the past and present, and thinking about how can we use our music to serve others? How can we use music to tell a story, um, to bring awareness to issues and use it for good? And are there specific educational outcomes that, uh, uh, that you seek? Um, I think through the so Music for Social Change project, students have been in a variety of genres and um, kind of skill sets. 
creating music, performing music, and responding to music. Um, so they've done that through composer research. They've done it through um, making performances of repertoire that was composed by black composers. They've done it through listening to contemporary pieces that are reflect social change issues. So they've done it in a variety of media in addition to this one performance. How does music, uh, some people think of music as being sort of an add-on to uh, an education. How does music education more generally fit into a, a well-rounded education? Um, I, as a musician myself who went through music training and music school, um, I think music just creates a smarter person personally. <laughs> uh, I think there are skill sets, not only like the hard skill sets of learning how to read notes and counting and matching, but I think uh, working together as a team, collaborating, uh, things that I feel like everybody is asking for us to do, that you need to be able to graduate and be able to work with other people, whether that now is remote from your office or um, in a workplace setting, that you're collaborating, you're listening, you're responding, and kind of thinking creatively. I think it all ties into growing strong, smart adults. And I'd like to bring that back to the uh, Music for Foods concert in that, how, how did you technically do it? You said that each individual student recorded their own part, but can, can you take us through the process? It, it seems like a daunting process. That, that's my question. It, it, I think it is. And I will fully, again, credit my student teacher for helping me with this project. Um, there are a variety of online apps that can do this kind of recording software. So we used one uh, actually called Easy Virtual Choir uh, that is kind of based on like the acapella app that came out. It became popular last spring. But um, Miss Chrisman laid down a single track initially that then everybody follows along with. So she made one video and then all of the students followed her video to record themselves. And then she used the software to make sure that they all started and stopped at the same time. And from there, you can adjust how loud kids are, how soft kids are, all of that kind of technical background. Um, and then I think actually because we had, I think on the video, it's over 150 students, which I think is one of the biggest virtual grids I've seen so far through the pandemic. Usually it's like 10 or maybe 20, but it's over 150 kids. So then take all of that video footage and download it onto your computer system takes a really, really long time. So, yeah. And <laughs> if someone wants to listen to this, not only for the fundraising notion, but just to see 150 Belmont uh, uh, students uh, performing like this, how, how would they do it? Where, where is it available? It has gone out on, uh, it has been emailed out to all of our orchestra families and our music families. It has gone out on the listservs for both the high school and the middle school. Um, and I think you're going to be providing the link as well. So it is it's on YouTube, but you do need to get the official link to be able to access it. It's, um, you have to have the link to click on it. Would you do it again? Um, probably with not so many kids. I think we have learned our lesson that it's definitely easier to do with smaller groups of students. So that's where I might dabble next time. <laughs> that's great. Well, uh, thanks for uh, bringing us up to, uh, to date with it. Great. Thanks for having me. We've been speaking with uh, Margot Reevy, who is the orchestra director for uh, grades 6 through 12 in the Belmont Public Schools. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. As we end here, I, I'd like to bring you up to date on something else as well. Over the past three and a half years, I have been lucky to be one of the hosts to bring you Belmont-specific news. The Belmont Journal brings you news that you would never read in the Boston Globe and you would never watch on Boston television stations. Over the past 14 months during these COVID-19 weeks and months, the Belmont Journal's News Now has brought you a daily news show. Indeed, the Belmont 
uh, Media Center is the only community media center to deliver a daily news show. I've had the honor and the privilege to be a part of the team to bring you that daily Belmont news. One impact of COVID-19, however, has been an increase in the number of requests from cities around the nation asking for my help to make water service more affordable for families in financial need. That's my day job. And I found that I cannot do that additional work and do news now as well as you deserve it to have it be done. Accordingly, today is my last News Now broadcast. Thank you for letting me enter your homes and for letting me be a part of your life for as long as I have. I'll miss it. Thank you again for watching News Now. We'll see you next time.